Wow, this is so interesting. I gotta say, I've seen Dom compete many times on this stage, and he is one who is able to just kind of come up with the answer. But that answer is not correct. 55.801, not correct. Not correct. 55.801 is not correct. Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna take a look at an epic CAD vs. CAD battle. This one comes from our 2024 World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling, and it features our final four runners in that tournament. So these guys are some of the fastest in the world. But if you want to challenge yourself and see if maybe you're even faster than these wizards, you absolutely can. When I reveal the 2D drawing, you can take a screen capture and then you can attempt to model it right along with these guys using any 3D CAD system. Try to calculate the correct mass and at the end of each of these battles, I will show you the correct mass on screen. So if that sounds good to you, hit the like button. Be sure to share this video with some other CAD enthusiasts and let me know down in the comments, what did you think about this model and what was your favorite part of this CAD vs CAD battle? When do these live streams happen? I've missed some. First time I've caught one. Caught first time I've caught the end of one. Oh no, listen, you're right in the you're still in the beginning. <laughs> live studio audience, I hope you guys brought a canteen. Because we're still in the beginning. Settle in. Okay, yeah. Let's settle in. Let's settle in. Let's see what happens in this match between our fishermen. Tom and our Fusion 360 user, another Fusion 360 user. So good luck. And here we go. Let's turn to the Wheel of Feet. You guys like the Wheel of Feet? I sure do. What do you think it's going to be this time? Oh, I'm going for uh, 36. What's the audience think it's going to be? 41. Here we go. Come on, 36. Here we go. All right, ready? Yeah, John right. knows what's up. Let's spin it. Let's spin it. Spin it. Let's begin it. Dom coming in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dom coming in with 38. Looks like 48. Vicky Chong, Amir. And Taki. Wow. Okay. Now, this is a pretty fun one. This is going to be a fun one to watch, wow. guys. I got a feeling you guys are going to really enjoy watching this one. Yeah. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a really good one. I think everybody's going to like this one. Mm -hmm. So let's learn a little bit about these runners, okay? Rambrose is an RC model designer. He's another young blood. Yeah, 21 years old. Uh, he's been a CAD designer since 2020. We got a lot of youngsters in this one. Uh, got to know about Too Tall Toby from teaching text video you can check out his models at rambros 3d.com nice and uh awake at 3 a.m for this competition yo Wowzers. let's go that is late and uh dom started using solidworks in 2019 so just a year over top of rambros uh his career began in our um, agriculture equipment manufacturing he enjoys fishing hunting and camping wow uh he has a quaker parrot named bella a real and, outdoorsman and uh and has been in one ttt tournament before yeah. uh, so that's pretty cool i also enjoy camping so yeah i, 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 I like camping. camping i also like hunting and i also like hiking yes i like hiking as well except for the walking part oh yeah all right here part. we go guys now now we get to see who else is going to the finals because this cad battle going to feature Rambros, our number six seed, and Dom, our number 10 seed. So here we go. Rambros will be our number six seed on the left. Dom will be our number 10 seed on the right. Rambros is a Fusion 360 user from India. Dom is a SolidWorks user from the United States. And this CAD battle begins in three, three two, two, one, one. go. What is the total mass of these three plates? What is the total mass of these three plates? So what is the total mass of these three plates? We are working in kilograms. What is the total mass? This is a fun, this is a really fun part, Tom. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Tom might end up having to step out for a second. We might have, to have a different commentator here. Uh-oh. That's right. We got backup commentators. Guys, this is a really cool part 
This is a really cool uh, challenge. I love this idea of having one model that's a pretty simple model. It's only a tier three model, but then having three permutations of that model mm. and challenging our runners to come up with the mass for all three permutations. How do we do that? There's a, there's several ways. Don't don't say, Tom. I don't want you to give away the answer. Okay. There's several ways to come up with the answer here. Now, I love Rambro's approach. I love how he, he likes to kind of start out by looking at this overall uh, view. Although, as soon as I said that, it looked like his print disappeared. Looks like both of our runners are kind of doing a full restart. They both had one idea to begin with, and then they both completely changed. Mm. That was very, very cool. Like Ivan remembering we had a similar part to this back in the old days. It is true. We had we did have a similar part to this. And it is kind of an interesting challenge because, you know, there's more than one way to do it. Let's see. Aaron C says, wish I was competing because I know the trick. Biggie Chong says it's 526 a.m. in India. So Ram Bros is... Getting nice and woken up now. <laughs> yeah, good song. <laughs> this is very interesting techniques. So I like that. I think it's so interesting that both of them started out one way. They both decided to go with a full restart. This model is once again in. Oh no, this one's in millimeters. Finally, we got one in millimeters. Whew. Yeah, I was getting a little sick of all those inches parts. I think we might have used all of the inches parts already on the wheel. In plain carbon steel. Plain carbon steel. Plain carbon steel. Yeah. And you got to build this thing and then you got to figure out, you know, what's the most efficient way to create it in three different things. And this is kind of the, this is like a CAD, you know, a CAD users challenge right here because mm -hmm. CAD users will know that there are a few different ways to accomplish this that you could, um, depending on what system you're using and what tools are in that system I'm trying to kind of guard what i'm saying to not give away sure you know too much sure I want these guys to really oh look at this design oh and ram bros drawing first blood getting that solid feature onto the screen nice job i like i like that and what is going to happen oh and using a slot you guys know we all love when people use the slot command yeah that's... thank you later you're awesome man Thank you, Jason. Yeah, love you, bro. All right, guys. So we see Rambros now after creating that beautiful slot, he had to go in and he had to delete those relationships. And then he was able to go in and change the angle on that slot. I like that move. This guy is truly a Fusion 360 master. Almond Ray says starting the day with TTT, it's 8 a.m. here in the Philippines. Wow. Let's go. Aaron C says, hashtag stop cat hate. Delete that comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sick move from Rambros indeed. Yeah, Rambros doing that tangent to tangent dimension. Awesome. Really, really slick. Slick and sick. Fully defined say, I'm liking Dom's approach with the contour selection. Yeah, I like that too. I, now I noticed this in the lower right. We see that Rambros using Fusion 360 is getting an error. And I've seen that come up a couple of times during the competition and, and you know, I'm not exactly sure what, you know, what it means other than obviously it's an error. But I remember when we had Fusion Phil on here last week, he was able to tell us what all those different errors mean. Thing is, even when you get one of those errors, it seems like you're able to just kind of quickly get out of it. And we've seen Rambros do that a few times. Mm. What is the total mass of this, of these three plates in X dot XXKG? Mm hmm. Oh, sh shucks. <laughs> Guys, got to make a correction here. In XX.XX. KG. Sorry, I didn't do enough uh, auditing of this thing. It's in XX.XX. KG. Let me send this to at, at Ram Bros and at Dom. Sorry about that, guys. It's in XX.XX. KG, not X.XX. In XX.XX. KG. Well, wow, 7 a.m. in Thailand. Nice. Got people from all over the world. So what do we see? What do we see Ram Bros doing? We see him making the changes and we see uh, Dom on the left making an assembly. Or what? what is he doing over there? Interesting. 
No, that's not an assembly. That's multi-body. Mm. Are we going to maybe see a, a move face? Very well possible. We might. We might. 3 a.m. in Israel. Wow. Staying up late watching this. Okay, the part is greater than 9.9 on .9 kg confirmed. Yeah. Well, the, the total total mass of the three plates. Yes. XX.XX. Sorry about that, guys. XX. Dot XX KJ. Good song, huh? Great song. These guys. Oh, it looked like Rambros was really closing down on the end there, yeah, but wow. seems like he really backed off. And now we see Dom. Making some changes. How do we do it? Thank you, Brad. You're awesome, buddy. Are we going to see my second favorite feature here? I hope so. You know what that is, right? Let's say it at the same time. One, two, three. Indent! Indent. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is so interesting. I got to say, I've seen Dom compete many times on this stage, and he is one who is able to just kind of come up with the answer. But that answer is not correct. 55.801, not correct. Not correct. 55.801 is not correct. So Dom is going to keep on working on this. And we're going to see... What our runners come up with. I like I like what Rambro is doing there. He's making some kind of like a variation on the sketch there. Very interesting. He really had this planned out from the start. He kind of knew what he was going to be doing. Remember, he made that slot and he made it so oversized. Mm. And so I think a lot of us were wondering, like, what's his what's he planning on doing with that? Well, it looks like maybe Fusion gives you the option to change which profiles you're using in the revolve. And so now he's able to go back through and change how that, that cut extra was created. This is interesting to see these guys struggle with this one. So Dom came in with the first answer, 55.801. That is not correct. That is not correct. Maybe he's going to open the door for Rambros to come through here with the winning submission. It's got to be frustrating when you... You know, you have all the models on the screen, but you're just not sure how to get to the right answer. Hmm. Dom coming in with an answer. 25.31 kilograms. And that is correct. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Technically, his answer was 25.310.815 kilograms. But... I think we, we could tell what he meant there. Wow, Dom. Great job. Really interesting approach. I was kind of saying before, I've seen Dom compete on the stage many times. And he is the one who is able just to kind of, you can tell that he's been in manufacturing. He's just able to kind of grind through and make it work. You know, and I really like that, that stick to it and this and, and how he gets going down one path and he just decides to go down a totally different path. Yeah, very, very nice. Sometimes you just gotta start. I'm really interested to see both of them start moving.